Yeah, I want to welcome all of you who've come from outside to Qatar, um, an extraordinary place that has done an extraordinary job of receiving us. And for all of those of you from Qatar, I want to welcome you to the ICC WCF World Chambers Congress and the start of a week-long activity uh, with the WTA World Trade Agenda Summit, which will take place today. International Chamber of Commerce has been founded in 1919 uh, by business people from every region of the world to promote trade and investment convinced they are aware of the fact and it's still very true today that development of trade and of investment could be a factor of peace and prosperity for the whole world. As you join us here today in Doha, it is important to understand how Qatar Chamber's partnership in the World Trade Agenda Initiative in close cooperation with the International Chamber of Commerce helps to contribute towards an ever-advancing civilization. A man of great vision once said, the well-being of mankind, its peace and prosperity are unattainable unless its unity is firmly established. There is no better system for stimulating growth and sharing prosperity than a fair, open, inclusive trading system. That which was envisioned at the WTO's inception and that which the Deputy Prime Minister has just referred to earlier. We we'll have today here and the impressive players in this room will be a critical input into how the WTO and its members chart the path to Bali and beyond. I'll bring to all of you warm regards, best wishes for a successful deliberation today from the WTO Director General, Mr. Pascal Lamy.